I didn't go to that school. You ready? I am a 15 year renowned logician. Um, I studied locks when it wasn't popular, mm -hmm. when they didn't teach texture in school as far as how to toughen up a 4C or how to actually properly blow it out or, you know what I'm saying? Like as far as the <laughs> natural hair, yeah, yeah, I started yeah. his locks. Um, okay. So what I'm fighting for now is for natural stylists to have their way because who can tell you how your hair is supposed to be? Yeah. And why do we even have rules and laws and regulations in place to tell me I don't know how to do my hair when I've been doing my hair for years? Right. If I'm not supposed to wash my hair, why is shampoo over the counter? If I'm not supposed to take medicine and stuff because I'm strapped to me, why is it over the counter? Mm -hmm. So we have to ask ourselves these questions and I, I, I fight the mold. So yes, 15 years in the game. Um, and, and baby, I don't, I don't plan on stopping until I blow up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, cause my daughters, they, they do hair too, and they do locks, and they rather just do locks. I rather just do locks. It's a, it's a, it's a culture within itself. Yeah. The expression, our history, our roots, mm -hmm. um, and, and also the spiritual connection to it, cause it, it's not just hair. It teaches you patience and consistency, yeah. and which a lot of us run away from, especially with our hair. And we think it's just out here, but really it's an underlying problem of consistency.